Have you ever heard of an adversary in the middle attack, or AITM for short? If you haven't, it's a pretty simple concept. It's all tied around phishing and trying to gain access to your accounts. So what a cyber criminal will do is they'll set up a website, it'll go through a reverse proxy, and they'll send you a phishing link. Or they'll automate sending phishing links out to a lot of people. And the people who click on it will get a login page that looks like Microsoft or Google or whatever they're trying to use. And nobody really pays attention to the URL and the address bar, which is something different. But the login screen's real. So when you put your username and password in there, the hackers steal it. When you go through and do your multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication, the hackers are able to steal the cookie that gets returned to you, so now they can gain access to your account. This is where the fun begins for them. Now they have full access to your account, they can act as you, impersonate you, add multi-factor authentication methods to get, gain persistence into your account. And that's where the fun really begins. Because now they can send out emails. Maybe they're trying to send emails to HR to get payroll changed inside your company. Maybe they're looking at your emails, trying to figure out, hey, are there big business dealings going on that we, maybe we can steal or change some wiring information? And that brings me to Evil Proxy. Evil Proxy is a $400 a month platform that cyber criminals can buy and launch these types of attacks. In, in fact, they're actually able to attack Google, Microsoft, uh, Twitter, or X, uh, Facebook, and even GoDaddy. And they're launching these attacks all the time. So you'll get something like uh, DocuSign or an Adobe email or even maybe a Microsoft email. It looks pseudo-legit. It comes from a bad email address. So again, we need to train our users not to click on this stuff. But if they do, they get served to the page that looks legitimate. And once they're on that page, most users are going to click this and actually submit it. So the images you see during this video are from Proofpoint. They did a, a good breakdown of this. And the thing that they found is 39% of the people that were hit by an evil proxy phishing campaign were executives, were C-level executives that were getting tricked. That's terrifying. That means they're gaining access to accounts that can do a lot of things inside of a company. And this is the stuff we need to fight against. The one way that you can really fight against something like this is to do something that's called phishing resistant multi-factor authentication. And that involves, involves like a FIDO2 token. So you'd have a token instead of using like codes to a physical token, or I guess it could be virtual, um, to gain access to your accounts. So Yubi keys are really good for that. Um, there's other ways to do it. Windows Hello for Business technically will work as well. But this is what we're up against. This is what we're facing today. And the more we understand, the more we can actually plan for this inside of a business and to keep everybody cyber safe.